Well, hi. Welcome to our morning minute for today. We continue to be in Philippians chapter 3, and I would like to read the words of the Apostle Paul in Philippians 12. Now, where Paul has been is in the last couple of verses, he has asserted, I want to know Christ, he says. I want to know the power of his resurrection, he says. I want to become like him in his death, says Paul, and attained to, attain to the resurrection of the dead. And with that as our context, the apostle Paul then goes on to say, not that I have already obtained all this, and this is verse 12, or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ took hold of me. And there's an important bit of information in this text about what the old theologians used to call the ordo salutis, the order of salvation, which is a teaching that endeavors to express how salvation occurs. What are the elements of salvation? What is the root of our salvation? What will the end of our salvation be? And that is, of course, glory with Christ. And with that in mind, thinking about the order salutis or the order of salvation, listen again carefully to what the Apostle Paul teaches. And the question that's in the air is this. Does Christ take hold of us first or do we take hold of Christ first? Does Christ take hold of us because of our pursuit of him or do we pursue him because he's laid his hand upon us. Listen carefully. Paul says, not that I have already obtained all this or have already been made perfect, he says, but I press on, listen, to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Do you, do you hear the words in there that impact how we might understand the Ordo Salutis? Paul is pursuing that for which Christ took hold of him. Christ laying his hand on Paul savingly is given the priority in Paul's salvation experience. Paul seeks to lay hold of that for which Christ lay hold of him. Christ has changed Paul's heart Christ has made the first move, you might say, and has awakened Paul to the truth of his sin and likewise has awakened Paul to the glory of the cross. In response to that taking hold, Paul then strives to take hold of that to which Christ has called him, faith, holiness, hope, service, the participation in the resurrection of Jesus and the death of Jesus. This is very much in accord, this, this order of salvation or ordo salutis, Christ first, then us. This is very much in accord with what the rest of Scripture teaches. Christ himself said, no man comes to me unless the Father draw him. Now, the implications of that for our humility and for our peace are legion. On the one hand, we need to perceive that we come to Christ because first he came to us. We are hungry for Jesus and for his salvation because by his regeneration, by his coming to, to dwell within us, he has awakened our heart to himself and made us to hunger after him and his salvation. Not anything that we did, 
Not because of our excellent performance or spirituality did Jesus take hold of us. But we have become those who are seeking after Christ because Christ first laid his hand on us. That is very humbling. But it's also intensely comforting. We are taken hold of by Christ, who says elsewhere in his Gospels that no one is able to snatch us out of his hands. He has laid his saving hand upon us. He has taken hold of our life and our destiny. And in our pursuit of him, we are but beginning to show the initial stages, you might say, of our eternal relationship with him. He will carry us to the full and bring us safely in heaven. And he will keep his hand upon us for all eternity, preserving and protecting and purifying us and enabling us to be blessed in his presence and to enjoy ever increasing delight before him. It isn't our merit or our strength or our sincerity that will gain Christ for us. It is because Christ has taken hold of us and Christ never lets go of the one that he has taken hold of. Well, let's pray about that and give thanks to Jesus Christ that he has taken hold of us, Christian, and has made us his own forever. Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you so much that you indeed have laid your hand upon us. Those of us who are yours, you have taken hold of us, and that is the only reason why we pursue after you. Lord, let us be humbled on the one hand, knowing that we are not the creators or the fathers or mothers of our salvation. It is you, Lord Jesus, who has taken hold graciously of us. But let us also take comfort in the strength and permanence of your grip, that once you take hold of one of your children, you will not let go. You will take us safely through this life. You will gather us by your hand safely into heaven, and you will continue to hold on to us for eternity as we dwell before you in joy and worship. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the strength of your gracious grip. Lord Jesus, it is in your name that we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. God bless.